one of the things that I love about my wife is that uh, she, her depth of knowing Jesus is, is phenomenal. I was talk, telling my daughter, one of my daughters this morning, that uh, the thing that she notices about my wife, uh, her mom, my wife, is that, that after 16 plus years of intense pain, which is daily, there's not been a day in the last 16 years that, that she has been without a headache. There's been nonstop headaches. It's like the, the warm front and cold fronts, the, the weather th things that happen. Um, for her, basically what's happened is that a headache, it started with headaches that have come over her and, um, and have been intense. And she's had surgeries to deal with that in Phoenix, Arizona. She's gone to headache clinics in Michigan. She's, um, and some of the, the intensity has come down some over the years, but, um, but other things have taken place. There's uh, muscle pain and bone pain, um, and there's some undiagnosed systemic thing that's going on in her body that creates pain in her skin and to touch, and so she's very tender. Um, so on a, on a scale of one to 10, her life uh, uh, is usually about a seven, and it usually doesn't go much less than a seven. Okay. 10 is the, the most unbelievable, and, um, and so she lives at a, if she's, if she's got a six, we're a good, it's a good day. If she ever gets to a five, and we're, this is great. She can function and do things and around the house and, and go places. Um, her life is basically confined. She doesn't go anywhere unless we're going to a doctor's appointment, or rarely can we go out and do something. And usually it's to go to Walmart. Just to, and That's her getting out. Um, historically, we would go to, you know, we'd go out to eat. We'd do all the things that normal people do. But, you know, for the last at least 10 years, she doesn't do those things. Mm -hmm. The last five to seven years, she hasn't driven. Um, so, so her life, the losses that they kind of have developed in her life are, are big. Um, for somebody that's not that old, I mean, for, for teenagers, she's old. She's 48. Um, she'll be 49 this summer. And, but the reality is that she's not that old uh, to be someone that's confined. And, but going back to what I was telling my daughter this morning is that her well is deep. Um, and it doesn't get there overnight. Um, she has been loving Jesus for a long time and, and kind of rummaging through the scriptures and, and allowing that to seep deep inside of her so that she, deep, she scoops down into her well and she's bringing up water that nobody's ever seen because of, of partly because of the pain, but partly because of just of her love for Jesus. And, and this came up with my daughter because we were talking about make sure you're spending time with the Lord because that's how it gets deep. And, and um, so there's a sweetness about my wife that that the amount of pain and difficulty she goes through to, to be as tender and gentle and sweet and kind as she is, I would not be that. I just want to go on record <laughs> that, that, that I would not be that way. She is the, 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 the nicest, highly you know, challenged person that I know. Um, but so that, I mean, I, just then I've given you some about her, who she is spiritually, who she is in her you know, tenderness and love. If, if she was ruling the universe, she would be the one caring for people. She's a registered nurse. Um, so for five years, all that's what she did. She, she became a nurse so she could take care of people. I kind of thought, you know, this is going to be a great thing because you know, she's becoming a nurse. I'm marrying her. I get somebody to take care of me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, God had a different plan, and um, I've been basically the caregiver uh, for these years, and that's probably not the, the, the if you're looking at my skill set, that's probably not my, the, the, my highest skill set, but, but God has been teaching me a lot through that as well. You know, one of the things that, that in, even in asking people to pray for my wife, it's so that God would get praised, because ultimately, um, if we lose everything and we still have Him, that's enough. Now, it's, to get to the point where you can say that and really believe it um, is, is a difficult process usually because usually you've been weaned of all the things that you're holding on to for delight and happiness and uh, 
through these 16 years, we're, we're, we're still being weaned. I mean, we still want relief. We still want um, for her to get better. Uh, and, and some of that is altruistic, and some of it's selfish. Um, and that's, my heart is, is selfish. I, I want her to get better for her and for me.